first day of Virginia early muzzle odor. About four hours into it, I've seen a couple squirrels, and that's about it. Not much activity on my cameras the last three weeks, so we'll see what happens. An overcast right now, which I actually like. It takes all the shadows away out of this hollow here. Uh, rain off and on throughout the day, and it's way too warm to be deer hunting, but that's just something you gotta deal with because opening day, and not gonna miss that. Got my GoPro set up on my CVA Optima. Battery's almost dead on it, but that's okay. I'm only going to use it if I take a shot. And that's where we're at this morning. I'm going to just uh, set it out and wait. That's a wrap on today, finishing it just like we started it. It's raining again. Didn't see nothing today. I mean, some squirrels. But no big game. Uh, terrible conditions. It started off raining this morning and then warmed up. Sun came out. It was nice. I was in a t-shirt. Rain came in again. Same thing. Sun came out, warmed up again. And then, uh, so I went back behind the clouds and heavy, heavy wind came through here, like for the last two hours straight. I heard a tree fall down back this way about 20 months ago, packing up and uh, trying to do it again. Talked about last time, it's all about being in the right place at the right time and not us today. I heard about six shots throughout the day, two back this way, right at first light this morning, around 7.30, 7.40, and uh, those were way off in the distance. I feel like they were probably across the highway. Um, heard shots again around 10 o'clock, and then uh, I think one around noon maybe. And then one about six, six fifteen or so. It was the closest one that I heard it was back over this way. But wasn't in the cards today. We will have to come back and try again. So stay tuned. Alright, here we go. Day three, early muzzle loading. Um Day two, I went up cameraless. Didn't stay for long. It was uh, 
pouring down rain that morning and went cleared up got a call needed to come uh, help out some people with some stuff so i came on out didn't go yesterday it was almost 80 degrees yesterday definitely don't want to hunt in that kind of weather uh, a bit cooler this morning getting a late start i did my duty to go vote this morning so it's about almost creeping up on nine o'clock i'm gonna get up here and make a quick camera check and then get in the stand I'm not gonna check all the cameras just gonna check the one where we're hunting at and uh hopefully we'll do better today it's uh supposed to be high hitting the 60s today it was nice and chilly this morning. Had a little bit of frost on the truck. I had to go vote this morning. So let's see how we did. Well, I absolutely freaking hate this. I was walking in, standing right here. My tree stands up in there over that hilltop there. Heard the noise. He came right through here. Stopped right around in there. I took a shot. It wasn't a smart shot or a great shot. I knew I got him. He came running down through here and kind of circled around a couple times, went back up. And he went back over the top. I went all the way down to the bottom over there, which is actually my neighbor's land. I texted him and told him I was in there. I followed that trail in the bottom. I felt so sure that he was going to stay in the bottom. And I followed that up. And I finally found some blood at the bottom of the trail. Not much. Drop here and there. And followed the, the blood another 50 yards maybe. Lost the blood trail. No more blood. And I combed all of that back there looking for that deer. I absolutely hate that. I wish I hadn't even taken the shot now. But, I mean, I did. Didn't have any cameras on. It all happened so fast. I mean, I, I, was, I'm, I was standing right here walking down the road to cut up the hill to go to my tree stand. He came right through here. Probably a six-pointer, I'm guessing. I don't really know. Um, God, I hate that. Absolutely hate that. That is the worst thing to come out here and do. He, he didn't bleed much. I hope he's going to be okay. It, it, I didn't. There's no blood in here at all. Not even where he came down here and circled around a couple of times. He went back up. There's no blood here at all. I didn't find blood till I got all the way in the bottom on the other side and and on back up a little bit. And it wasn't even that much. Just a drop here and there. I was able to track it for a ways. Man, I hate that. I I don't know what to do now. I'm I'm gonna go. Check the camera and get back in the stand. And... Man, I hate that. I am back in the stand. Check the camera. He wasn't on the camera. So he didn't come through here. He came from up there. Or crossed over from the other side. Maybe. Totally disgusted with myself sitting here second guessing. Shot placement. I should have done something different. I thought I was putting a good shot on it. I don't know what happened. Maybe he'll come back. I mean, a couple of years ago, I shot a deer right back this way. Same situation. Ran off. I know his head, he tumbled over. Couldn't find it, just a few drops of blood. Couldn't find that thing at all. Later that evening, shot a spike about 20 yards from the stand, put him right down. When we skinned him out, I found a bullet hole through his rear ham. And I'm positive that that's the one I shot earlier that morning. So, hopefully we'll have a similar situation today. Man, I hope that thing's going to be okay. I can't stand coming out here wounded animals. Man, I hate that. I'm going to be... Man, that's going to eat me alive in here all day long.
little video just showed you two deer came in on me around 11 o'clock this morning and couldn't get a real good look at them. I did get one little peek at the head. I didn't see any horns. They never even presented a shot to me. Um, I put the camera up trying to get them on camera and I couldn't find them in the camera. As soon as I put the camera down, she wagged her tail. I'm assuming she. And I was like, yeah, I'd already gone through this three times. I wasn't getting the camera back up. So if you see her in the camera, comment below and let me know. But I couldn't find her in there. I watched that video a hundred times and I can't find her in there. I know where she was at, but I can't find her in the video. Well, I just absolutely could not stand it. Not having any enjoyment in the tree stand whatsoever. Thinking about this deer I shot this morning. Retrace my steps. I'm back to the same the spot that I marked with the last place I found blood. I followed this valley all the way up to the gas line and crossed over into the National Forest. No more blood. I was hoping to find some blood in the clearing up there where the gas line is at. Hoping for to find some big blood spill somewhere or something. Yeah, you know, I'm second guessing how I'm tracking it. I, I think I think the blood splatter goes away from the direction of travel. And the splatters on this end go on this way. The other blood that I found is right up there around that tree. Right up in there. I'm going to make my way back down through here and go back through this hollow here. See if I find any more blood. Maybe I'm looking at it all wrong. Maybe he came up. Maybe he crossed further up here than I thought he did. Came down here. Made the turn and went that way. I was thinking he crossed way back in there and came down and up through here. Yeah, I just went on a whim from where I couldn't even see the road from where I was standing at. So I, I just went where I thought he crossed at. I'm going to follow this down. I'll give you a closer look at this blood splatter. I don't know if I'm even right about that, but it makes sense to me. Uh, I'm gonna make a loop down through there. I left my backpack up there on the hill. I didn't want to lug it through all this. I'll have to go back up the road when I get down through here. This goes down to like where my brother and his daughter hunt at. This hollow here they hunt in. But neither of them are here today. I'm gonna follow it all the way down to the crossroads. Get back on the access road that I'll walk up to my stand and go back up and get my backpack. And maybe we'll get lucky and find him down here. And we're about five hours after shot him this morning. So I, I really don't know what to expect. I'm 100% totally disgusted over this. All right, I have not disturbed this. You can see it's kind of splattered on this side and this one right here. The splatter is all this way. And, I, and if I'm thinking this right, that means he's traveling that way. And the blood's falling away from his body. I'm going to go back down here and look at these other splatters and see what they look like. I mean, I, I, I don't know. We're back to where we started this morning. Across the gate here shortly after I voted this morning. Around 9 o'clock. Got up around the turn. Made the shot. While still on the road. I'm still trying to work through my head what happened there. I, I have 100% confidence in my CVA Optima. I call it. Optima Prime. It's uh, never let me down. I've never not put a deer down one shot with it. Don't really know what happened. I had my backpack on. had a heavy load today. Maybe that threw me off. I was wearing my glasses. I usually pull my glasses off take a shot because the crosshair is a little bit fuzzy. Best I can hope for is it's just a flesh wound and that deer is going to be okay. So, that's I, I sat in the stand until 1.30 or so after I got back up there from my first look for it this morning and I, I just couldn't think about nothing else but I mean what if that deer is bleeding internally I came back up through here where I was showing you a few minutes ago and no such luck didn't find nothing no more blood so I think my intuition was right the first time that it went that way but I just don't know uh, that was the only blood I found it all was a few spots I showed you. I had about six feet at the first spot and then two or three little drops at the next spot and that was it. So 
that tells me one of two things. It's either just a flesh wound, I didn't get a good shot on it, or it's bleeding internal and it's not going to make it. And I absolutely hate that. I'm, I'm going to lose sleep over that tonight. But at this point in the game, it is what it is. So I'm going to wrap up this uh, horrible first three days of early muzz loading. And make sure you're looking for Him Tight Homestead on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And we'll keep doing this. Hopefully we'll do better. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.